We're here today at Fashion Houston. Uh, this is Barbara joining us today with Michael Allendorf Productions. Um, so Barbara, tell us just a little bit of how you got involved and started designing. Oh, start, oh all the way back then. <laughs> uh, I started several year, quite a few years ago as a design assistant in New York for a wonderful man named Sal Cesarani. And that's how I got my start. And he really was a great teacher. Also trained Narcisa Rodriguez. So he has a good track record. Um, and I just um, worked for about five and a half years and then I decided to try to work in film and so I spent ten years as a costume designer for feature films and while I was doing that I started seeing all these amazing clothes and how well they fit and I started, started thinking this is amazing why aren't people dressing like this anymore and a lot of people in film were oh, in the time that I was working in the 90s were afraid of things looking too beautiful or too chic and I'd be like what are you afraid of look at Audrey Hepburn and Grace Kelly they looked amazing and right. everyone's still honoring that right. why are you afraid of it let's embrace it and may have fun and then you know I started looking at screwball comedies from the 30s and Carol Lombard and they'd be wearing these crazy outfits and yeah. having so much fun and I thought this is amazing and if maybe I should just do my own collection <laughs> so I Prior to that, I, I worked with Uma Thurman. I was a design consultant for Prada, and the dress made the cover of Women's Wear. And right. everybody started calling me, "You should be doing this. You're crazy. You need to start your own company." <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, "Okay, well, sure, why, why not?" not? <laughs> so I did a very tiny, tiny collection, and I went to Barney's, and they bought it. Awesome. So that's how I started. Okay. So. The design that we showed today, your collection today, what sets it apart from your previous work and what inspired you for this line? Well, Elizabeth Taylor is my inspiration, okay. hence the Liz Taylor wigs. Um, Elizabeth Taylor is someone I greatly admire, her beauty, her philanthropy, her, her quite revolutionary spirit right. that people don't aren't aware of and I'm trying to bring that forward in my little blurb, I hope you had a chance to read it. Um, I wanted to honor her because I thought it was so extraordinary that she just recently passed away and so much of the beauty that she collected in the form of jewelry is now being turned into, well it's being auctioned and much of the money is going to AIDS cure, which I think is so incredible. It's like alchemy. You know, she's right. taken the diamonds now and turned it into a cure. So there are a lot of people that have been talking about it and, and we all say the same thing that she will probably single-handedly be the person that find secure. So I wanted to honor her. I love the way she was dressed in the early part of her career by Helen Rose and Edith Head. And I've watched all the films and as I said to a couple people, you know, I wanted to take the smart things that people did in fitting clothes and designing clothes and bring them forward to modern day because people have gotten sort of lackadaisical. Although people in Houston <laughs> love to dress up. <laughs> I live in LA a lot of time and everyone gets real lazy there. But here people, I see people in the audience, they look so glamorous and People are not jaded here. Right. They really have fun and enjoy their lives, and I'm so honored to be in Houston. I Thank love you. it here. We love having you here. It's such a cool city. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> I'm such a New Yorker that it's just been amazing. And I've, our impresario, impresario Neil Hamill, has been amazing, and he's just been so lovely to have invited me yes. to be involved, and I have so much gratitude to him for that. And. Um, I'm also here doing a trunk show with Neiman Marcus tomorrow, okay. so that'll I'll get to meet wow. some people. And Neiman Marcus in Yeah, in the gallery, yeah. Okay, wow. So I'm excited about that. And then my other um, collaboration was with Bulgari, which provided the jewelry for this evening, and, and it's really a fun quote that I've been telling people who haven't heard it. Uh, Richard Burton was quoted as saying, I taught Liz Guinness and she taught me Bulgari. <laughs> <laughs> and he bought more jewelry for her than anyone, right. any of her many husbands. <laughs> so I thought, that's so cool. And he also uh, gifted her with the Serpenti watch, which is when they were shooting Cleopatra. So that's why I used them in my show. I oh, thought it wow. was, you know, they have these snake watches around. Did you notice them, the bracelets? Yes. And so I thought it was kind of this celebration of Liz that we were channeling her and, and saying thank you for all her wonderful inspiration and generosity. Yes. And um, last but not least, before you go, um, what advice would you give for aspiring designers coming up now in this day and age? Well, you know, the thing, the thing that's unfortunate for aspiring designers is they feel they have to become famous overnight because of all the shows and the CFDA, which is great and all, and I love that they sponsor people, but 
honestly, it's those years of training that save you when you get out on your own. And you go back to that and you go, oh my God, I remember when so-and-so suggested I do this. And I got to be around so many amazing designers like Bill Blass, Oscar de Renta. I mean, it was incredible. Pauline Trugere, it was amazing. I worked at 557th Avenue and I'd see him in the elevators. <laughs> And we would do these big, huge shows with Eleanor Lambert. So we all got to meet these designers. And the thing is, we got real training, right. real training, and years and years and years of training. Now people feel they have to be have a collection in a year, and nobody really wants to be an assistant. And I'm just so glad I spent five and a half years as an assistant because it was truly invaluable. And that's my advice. Don't be in such a big rush. because. Better to take your time and really learn everything before you put yourself out there than to put yourself out there and feel like you didn't do it properly and have to go back and start over. Right. And so it's just, it's, you know, good things happen slowly, but we're in a moment where everything's so quick and everyone's texting and this and that. And <laughs> <laughs> Me too, but I just feel like, you know, fine red wine, you know, fine jewels. Let's, let's, Cherish. let's go back to that right. a little bit. Let's go back to that. Thank That's you. what I suggest. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so it's great much to be for here. Your time. Sure.